Hey! Hey guys, we're back. Okay, so, um... I'm playing again, so... Our, our first outing did not go too well. We'll have to go back to settings, and we're gonna have to change the difficulty, because that was, an, that was a bad on my part. I had poor Zach here play on normal mode, when all the character levels are at level 1, and I wasn't... I don't think you're supposed to play the level on normal right out the get-go. Oh, isn't and, that funny? I was looking for the camera for a prop, and here it is. Uh, that was for us doing <laughs> our, 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 our Luigi our Smash. Yeah. Oh, bro. It's, it's becoming a, a chat. Oh, shoot. Hang on. We're still playing this. Uh, you're recording the camera? Yep. Okay. You don't have to play the intro. Just, just yeah, I can skip it. Uh, oh, let me make sure the record, the game recorder's on, though. At least. Okay. Okay, now it's recording the game. Oh, all right. Now we're recording. <laughs> let me look like a blank screen for a brief moment. Uh, bro. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, okay. now we gotta get to options. Options? Alright, we're gonna go to game setting. We wanna get the game setting. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Difficulty easy mode. And our uh, armor gauge on. Yeah, English voice, we're good. Press X. Hot well, X on easy mode. Are we want easy mode? Accept changes, yes. Set them to easy. <laughs> Alright, let's try so, this again. Well, let's go back to original. We were on Domon's level. So we can easily skip the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same guy again. They keep up with cuts and DP. Hey, look, I wonder, hey, we're in outer space, I wonder if we're gonna see Tim Curry flying on flying by. It's spies! They give me another game with the wheel away from capitalism. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! Oh, I remember this. I like, I like how. Now I know what you were referencing. <laughs> Let's play though. I want to get it done to the end. 
Well, I mean, yeah, just like a lot of cool characters. This is a nice, cool way to get a little slice of everything Gundam related. It's not just a love letter to Mobile Suit Gundam, but it's also a nice introductory game. Because, like, you kind of have a bit of an idea of what every character's from, and a little bit of their backstory. And, uh, obviously you don't get all the details unless you play official mode. Which, apparently, Zack doesn't want to do, but it's the only way to complete original mode, is that you can unlock the official characters from the over the century, and then... Yeah, but you also unlock other characters the more you play the game, basically. Or complete stages. Behind you. When in doubt, a good mass of people will be behind you. Are you on? God, that was so bad. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Especially that he actually won the fight, too. That's what made it even more bad. That's like, yeah, he actually won. Alright, guards, follow the arrows. Follow the arrows, follow the yellow big road, follow the yellow big road, follow the yellow big road. You went right past him! Oh yeah, speaking, ah! of, uh, speaking of, uh... Who's your special? Oh, sorry, uh, L1 and R1 together, right? Or... Uh, yeah, L1 and R1. Hey, there you go. That, that destroyed one guard. I didn't do it. Godfinger does, does an instant kill the weaker enemy, but it deals massive damage to boss characters. Guards are not bosses though, so they instant kill guards. There we go. Okay, you took the center. Now go to the left. Uh. Head east. Head east. I thought you said beast. No. No. What kind of no, complaint no, are you no. laddie? Oh. What kind of complaint are you laddie? The sun serves. You're fire again. <laughs> I see. Uh, what did you do? Take her out. Yeah, that By was the way, she's the same age as El Tanu. They're twins. Yeah, that was funny, but SpongeBob was actually funny. No way, go back. Where are you going? I thought that was at the wrong area. No, you're, you're at the camp. You, you'll you see a field energy gauge when you enter a camp on the top so screen. So, here's my question for you. What, so far, what series have you liked more so far? Googling Summer or Smash Adventures? I honestly have liked Smash Adventures more. Because you kind of have this nice sense of dread for the fifth episode, and I hope to carry that out up until episode 9, where it's like you crank the scale up to 10 when it comes to the, you know, intensity and the, oh god, you're rolling up to you already. Godfinger! Godfinger! Godfinger her! Oh my god, what are they saying? Just, just try it! Try it! Won't let me move! Behind you! Turn around! I'm trying! Finger! Okay, now run! Run, run, run! Get HP! Uh, let me see any boxes. That's fine, that's fine. Scan I saw like an angry video game nerd. It's like, why the hell do you have so many boxes? Don't you talk to me about my boxes! Who keeps piles of boxes around? Honestly! Oh, don't you talk about my boxes! I like boxes! And I was like, now I know why he collects those boxes. They got health in there. There's a list! No! No, go back! Go! No! Where are you going? Well, which way do you want me to go? East. East. Wait, there's a box there. There's a box right there. Yes! Yes! Okay, now you can go back and kick her ass. Now, do you have any, uh, Gundam questions? Um, what was your favorite Gundam series? <sighs> That's a tough one. I mean, I want to say Iron Blooded Orphans is my favorite, but that was technically my first, and I can't really do that. I mean, it might be a tie between Iron Blooded Orphans or Double O, because Double O is pretty good too. Sadly, neither of those shows appear in this video game. Double O does appear though in Dynasty Warriors 3, but that won't be for a while until we get there, so... Oh, don't forget to use your special. Yeah, it's L1 and R1. L1 and R1, yeah, you're flying right now. I'm pressing L1 and R1, it's not doing it. Uh, L2, R2. There it is. I think it's X, I think. Might be X? Yeah, it might be X. I don't know why that is. Watch behind you. I'm trying. Oh, there. It's interesting now you can see our faces now when we're playing with you. Yeah, I know, but I mean... Oh, I that think, uh, Chief of Dino also... Is that a little battery? Oh. Yeah, but I think it'll be fine for right now. Okay. okay I'll charge this up. If it dies, I'll just charge it back up. Pause. Alright, alright. Okay, behind you the next... Ooh. There's Emma. She... Oh, yeah, and then... Okay, you got an attack boost when you do that. Now turn around and just hit her with the special. Oh, it's Circle. Yeah, it's Circle. Oh yeah, El Peru's helping you out, so you got some assistance here. Thankfully, thank God. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, every oh. time that gauge opens, you have to press the circle to move the special. That was a little soon, but it worked. Well, here's my question, another question for the day. 
Yeah. Are you excited for Resident Evil 4 remake? What are your thoughts yeah. on it? Why? I mean, I have I always seen bits and pieces of the trailer. I didn't really watch it all the way through. And it's like, if I grew up with Resident Evil 4, I would be excited for it. I did. That was my first Resident okay. Evil game. And that was also your first game. Okay, perfect. That was also my first PS2 game, weirdly enough. Alright, perfect. Now... Go uh, north. I'm on the right way, right? Yes, but you also had to turn on your your, your map is like working weird. Right circle. I mean, uh, right stick. Press down on it. There you go. Okay. Now you gotta take down the northern northeast point. So just take down a bunch of these guys. Oh. Have you noticed we've conquered a lot of bases really, really fast now? Yeah, I noticed that. Okay, so that's what the easy mode basically is. Right. But yeah, that was my first PS2 game with Resident Evil 4, weirdly enough. That's a hell of a start for the console for you. It's basically like ABGN's first NES game yeah, behind you on us. There we go. Yeah. I remember, uh, I think my dad, uh, he actually borrowed the game from one of his friends. Uh, the game. Right, turn around and then you just special. But yeah, I enjoyed it, even though it was technically a horror game, so I probably shouldn't have been playing it. But yeah, oh, you have to conquer the enemy fields around the northeastern point. So, uh, head west. There you go. Oh. Yeah. You know, I probably shouldn't have been playing a horror game at, like, oh, Age really, 11. Really but I'm like, I wasn't really all that scared. I mean, I kind of freaked out when the chainsaw guy came after me. Camille's back here. So if you fight Camille, he beat a Bob. 
and Mia as in Cannibal could be Bob. <laughs> that was a reference to the Camel from SML. Right. Okay, uh, you want to head west again. There's like this passage that you can take in this camp. This way? Yeah. That way. It's burning rage! Right. Burning rage. Right. 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 Burning rage. Oh, why is it burning rage? No, no. So, that's a reference to the show that he comes from. This hand of mine is burning red. It's war, cries, tell me to defeat you. Alright. Is that possible? No, no. Here's the cutscene again. Stop! I like this cutscene, though. Don't skip. Let it play. What a coward. You sound like a coward. What? This is kind of how I need to have our crossroad boards go for the Gundam series. Just turn and run. Uh, I think Trader Dino was telling me to move our heads during the cutscenes. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna have our heads just be gone during cutscenes. Burning! Finger. Finger. It's a burning finger, exactly. I imagine how many takes I took to do in the recording booth. I can imagine so too, but it's hard to get that right amount of energy without blowing the mic. I also so imagine. behind you, take him down. Camille will, if you defeat Camille, you'll lower the morale of your enemies, making it very easy for you to take over the camps. There you go, there you go. Now we're talking, now we're talking. Alright, here's your special. Suck it! You must really like your one now, don't you? <laughs> I mean, you got the rusty god finger. I mean, burning finger. Because that's the funny thing, is that this uh, god Gundam basically kind of got uh, censored in a way. Because here they call him Burning Gundam because they didn't want to associate Oh, like how many keys uh, cards got such Yeah, a exactly. They... No, I think it'd be cool if someone did a fan product dubbing over the Yu Gi Oh! dub to attack an actual proper dub. Right, right. Behind you, man, the wheel's not dead. There you go. Behind you. Like, it'd be cool if you even got the English voice actors back to reprise the roles. That would be correct. Okay, let's go take over the center again. You gotta make it hear them actually say the actual in, the actual Japanese dialogue with the English voice is pretty amazing. Be Someone needs that. to do that. That'd be. Pretty... I think it happened before, but it was like a special edition or something like that. No, no, no. Okay, there you go. Um, how the hell did you get back to the center camp? There you go. That way. That way. That way. Wherever your arrow is pointing to. There you go. That way. Go that way. Yep. Up the hell, and then center camp. You just take this over, and then I think that might be it. Or do we have to go fight the lemon? I'm trying to remember how to do this stage here. Because I thought he had to be Camille or something like that. You mean Camille to be the Bob? Yeah. That's his, his full name is Camille Dodd. And also, people find that character to be very annoying, the Camille to be the Bob character. Right, right. So I'm like, ah, oh, no. I thought that was kind of funny. What's funny, though, too, is that I thought you were going to bring up Camille's name. It was like, apparently, in the anime, I don't know why. But one of the main antagonists kind of feels like Camille. That's a girl's name. And it's like, <laughs> the character just keeps up. Oh, there she is. Yes, our queen. Come on. And look, look how they move. Bits, yeah. Oh, that her in that white ship? Yep. It is known as the Cuba Bay. It's also what Peru and Peru 2 pilot. It's a uh, new type mobile suit. Which basically means like it uses psychic abilities and stuff like that. So yes, there are psychics in the world of Gundam. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> well, it's a world of giant robots. I I'm willing to suspend my suspension of disbelief. Okay. It's like right. when people complain about the security in Jurassic Park being terrible. I mean, later that's movies. a given, man. All right. later Jurassic Park goes like, why the security so bad? Was People are like, why are the security so bad? I'm like, you do they have they praise the first film. It's like the first film first made film. damn sense. I'm it's like, no expense. It's like you just And then I'm just like the first one made sense. I'm like, the first one made sense? The movie really had all the security on one guy's computer? Yeah, I know, right? That was the first one. <laughs> I'm like, that one made sense. Ah, there we go. Like, we did it. I think we Yes! Finally! And it's sweet! Sweet victory! Sure you don't feel like doing one more? I think the camera's 
Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta, we gotta do that. Uh, I think I'll let it charge for a little bit. And then we'll go to Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Alright. Well, we'll see you guys next time then. Yep. Uh, next time we'll be uh, doing more of Gilmon's levels then, I guess. And it looks like Zach should be able to play this easy from now on. Uh, both literally and uh, figuratively speaking. Uh, till then, choo-choo! Bye-bye. Peace, motherfucker!